Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. How many of you have had a hard drive or an SSD that's full of too much data and you go through add remove programs, you go through the drive cleanup wizard and you can't figure out where all of the storage is being taken up and you just wish you had something that showed you where is all my data? And today we're gonna to be showing you a really cool free utility that helps you do just that. Space Sniffer actually takes your entire hard drive and allows you to easily, with a graphical user interface, view where all of your data is being stored. Now if you Google Space Sniffer, you're gonna land on this page or you can click the link below the video or you can just sit and listen to me talk about it for a minute. But I'm gonna cover all of what I think are the coolest features of this software. So I already mentioned it's free. You can also use it without even installing it. You just, it's a drag and drop install. So you can run it from your desktop or wherever else you see fit. Once you've opened up the program, you just start a scan process and you can see however many disks that you want. So you can just look at one drive or you can look at multiple drives in order to manage your files all at the same time. You can do a bunch of other cool stuff, including zooming in to see more detail of a particular folder that looks massive, but you're not sure what in there is taking up so much space. You can also tag things and filter your results. So let's say you wanted to look for only JPEG. So you filter asterisk.jpg, it'll bring up all the JPEGs on your computer and you go, okay, well, I only want to see the really old ones. So you put in a date filter. So let's say uh, greater than two years, all my old JPEGs. And you know what? Any of the big files I took with my new camera, I don't want to see those. So maybe I want to uh, filter by less than three meg files and all of a sudden I got all my old JPEGs that are small crappy quality images and I can manage those. You can also tag those images yourself with various colors that are represented in the GUI. So that is blue, green, red, or yellow. And then you can filter by what tag you assign to it. So while you're going through, maybe you color everything red that you want to put somewhere and color everything green that you want to put somewhere else. And at the end, that will be much simpler. Last but not least, you can output a textual report by using the embedded export module, which will allow you even more ways to manage your data. Exciting. Now, everything I said before sounds pretty neatsy keen, but uh, without a demo, I don't know if you guys will even believe me that any program could be this smart. So here we are, we're looking at the, uh, the root drive of this particular computer. So you can see all of the Windows stuff going on over here, you, uh, rather over here. You can see my biggest culprits in terms of data consumption are these files over here, which looks like a bunch of temporary files. Guess it's time to get rid of those. My desktop folder, which by the time your desktop folder reaches 36.2 gigs, it's probably time to clean it up and my Steam apps folder, which has like games that I want. So this I'm probably not gonna look too closely at. So why don't we go ahead and start investigating the desktop? All we have to do in order to move down is click once. So now we see that the tech tips folder is the biggest culprit and only about 500 megs is taken up in videos down here. So we're not too worried about videos. Why don't we click on tech tips again? Aha, now we start to see some detail. So folders are brown, files are blue. This program is sweet and so are you. I was inspired, sorry guys, I had to do it. So anyway, we see that now we can start to break down where all the storage is going. So here I have a file called Vesta 405. I can right click it. Yes, your contextual right clicky stuff does work within this program. I can see, oh, what is this? Okay, Vesta 4050 iFinity. You know what, I don't need that anymore. Right click, delete. Yep, now it's gone. So not only do I see all the files and folders that I wanna manage in here, but I can also manage them as well. Now the filters up here are really cool. So here what I do is I put in star.jpg, press enter, and you can see it will completely rebuild its representation to show me only things that are JPEGs or contain JPEGs. So that's a really neat feature as well. Now all of a sudden I can manage all of my pictures without seeing any of the other clutter. So how long does it take to build one of these you might ask? Here is another drive. This is an SSD mind you, so this is really quick. This is one of my other boot drives. So you can see what it does is it actually builds based on your files and folders and gives you, a, you know, I actually think the things are really cool. So it should be done in just a moment here. It's just finishing up on WinSXS which is inside Windows. We've got our hibernation file. So that's a big, that's a big file, 12 gigs on an SSD. Total, total waste. We've got a page file, which is 16 gigs. That's probably a little big considering usually I'm using um, 
a ton of RAM in that particular test system. So lots in the downloads, lots in Battlefield 3. I can easily eliminate some of the stuff that's taking up room on my SSD without wasting time hunting around in folders. Now, before we wrap up this episode, I do want to show you a couple more things about this cool little piece of software, and that is all of the buttons up here and what they do. So we've already figured out the gist of how to use it, but there's some pretty neat stuff here. So we can actually use these two guys to determine how much detail we want it to try to show us at any given time. So how deep do we want it to show us? Do we want it to show us how many directory levels exist inside a given spot? So we can go, oh yeah, I want to go all the way into there. Pretty cool, right? Okay, let's go back. Next, and I'm just going to get rid of that for now. Next, we've got this button, which allows us to show us the file classes. So we can see system files very easily and avoid accidentally deleting something that could be critical for the system. Next, we've got the ability to show free space. So now we can actually see that if we delete something, okay, I'm not going to delete anything from this. I need all this stuff. But if we delete something, it will dynamically adjust the free space as we go. So we can see how much space we've freed up. Finally, we can show unknown, not yet scanned space, which I can't quite figure out exactly what that does. And last but not least, we have the button to support the project, which based on how cool this application is, is probably not a bad idea. So in conclusion, thank you for checking out this little NCIX tech tip, especially you SSD owners. I hope you're finding it easier using this program to manage your storage space. Don't forget to subscribe.